<laughs> yo, yo, what up, y'all? Thank y'all so much for dropping by. Welcome to the King's Palace, where kings and queens join together to make the world a better place. Now, a lot of people might say, well, how can I, you know, how would I know, you know, a false prophet, a fake chosen one? How would I know this wolf in sheep clothing by the fruits that they bear? You know, you can tell, you can look at them and tell. You can hear the things that they talk about. If they never go to Bible, if they never lead you to Jesus, that's how you know. Because look, it's gonna be a lot of wolves in sheep clothing, a lot of, lot of false prophets out here, a lot of fake false preachers, pastors, and chosen ones. And this stuff have to be exposed. If it's not, people are gonna continue to stay lost. If everything came to an end right now, a lot of people ain't gonna make it through the gates of heaven. God already told everybody. He said, the way to destruction is, you know what I'm saying, wide. But it's going to be a narrow path to get to heaven. Because we know everybody's going to take the wider, you know what I'm saying, option. It's more worldly things. But if you're trying to live a Christian lifestyle, most people don't want to do that because they feel like they got to sacrifice too much. They got to live almost perfect, a perfect life. They got to give up all the drinking, the smoking, the fornication, the sleeping around, the listening to the trap music, the fighting, the fussing, the cussing, the gossiping. They got to give up all that. They don't want to do it. But yet yeah, still, they claim to be a chosen one. That's why I keep repeating, you have to be a true king like I am. You got to be a true chosen one like I am in order to lead the people in the right direction, somebody that's not scared. Of course, you're going to get backlash for calling people out like that. But they're all fake. They are all fake, man. It's, you you have a handful of, out of all the people that I looked at, they sound good, but a lot of them, they just talk about worldly things. They don't talk about how you can make your life better, how you can do self-improvement, how you can do better in a relationship. They don't talk about divor divorce and remarriage. That's a sin, you commit adultery. They don't tell you to turn from your wicked ways, come out from amongst them, be ye separate. God don't want you to hang around sinners if you're trying to better yourself because it's going to cause you to stumble. God said, be holy for I am holy. On this rock is my church. Now what that tell you? God wants you to be holy. Follow his commandments. God said, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. Y'all have to follow those 10 commandments. That's how you're going to become a true chosen one. That's how you're going to become a true king. You got to get baptized. You got to be born again to become a true chosen one. If you're not, you're still out here misleading people. You fake and you phony. Now, we won't know that, but only you know that in your heart. These people got big platforms on YouTube, content creators on social media, and misguiding people. Just like false prophets, just like fake pastors, bishops, ministers, deacons. You know what I'm saying? You got fake woman pastors. God even said, I would never suffer a woman to teach. It is a shame for a woman to talk in church. That's in the word. That's in the Bible. A woman is not supposed to be a pastor. Now, it says she can go home and talk to her husband about the word of God. And they can spread the gospel at home. And maybe at Sunday school, you know what I'm saying? Reading your Bible study with your friends and stuff. But far as standing up and trying to lead the church, lead the, you know what I'm saying, the church house? No, a woman is not supposed to do that. That's why I say T.D. Jakes is fake. Joel Osteen is fake. They don't speak against sinful things like the LGBT. It is a sin to be gay. You can go to hell for that. You will be living and that's an abomination. That is a great sin. But a lot of people don't want to talk about it. No, they don't want to talk about it. You know why they don't want to talk about it? Because they're comfortable. When you in sin, you are extremely comfortable. You don't condemn nobody. You don't judge nobody. You don't want nobody to mess with you, but you're living wrong. You're living in sin. And like I said before, I would never judge nobody or condemn nobody, but you, you are being warned right now to change and turn your life around over to Jesus. If you are a false prophet, you fake a fake chosen one, listen, you got a long way to go. You got a long way to go. And a lot of y'all prideful. A lot of people are extremely prideful. That's why the devil got kicked out of heaven. For being prideful That's why Cain You know Took out his own brother For being prideful This is why so many people Get hurt For being prideful Stop being prideful That's why they say Don't be prideful And what, is it, what does the rainbow flag Symbolizes Pride That's of the devil God said People will say That they love me But their hearts Are far from me So That lets you know People will deceive you You know the devil got kicked out of heaven And a third of the angels Fallen angels 
they are they are gonna take their place in the lake of fire one day. And that is a place you do not want to go to hell. Trust me. You do not want to go for being a false prophet, a fake chosen one. Because y'all being fake all out here thinking it's a joke and you just keep using his name over and over and over again. Every other word, just like a fake pastor keeps saying Jesus. So it make you feel like, oh, you know, this person real because they're saying chosen one. Or the pastor is real because he keeps saying Jesus. Praise God. You know, these people are fake. On one of y'all, man, this ain't no joke. It's spiritual war out here. And it's a lot of demonic people, a lot of demonic demons out here, a lot of people claiming to be real, and they're not. The Bible speak of it many times. People are going to deceive you. They're going to come, they're going to come and try to deceive everybody. The Antichrist is going to come, try to deceive everybody. They want to put chips in people's head, chips in people's hand, and deceive everybody. Because they feel like y'all don't know. They feel like when people, if they can make you struggle hard enough, they're going to turn people out. You know, they're going to recruit. So that's what you want to stay away from. You know, you do not want anything to do with this. God also said, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever they are feeling in their heart, if they are lying to you and you find that they are fake, that's how they truly feel. The abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak it, even if it's in real life. Even if you know somebody, oh, you know, I didn't mean what I said. A portion of that, you may have said it out of anger or you may have meant it, but it came out your mouth. So therefore, you have to take precaution because you really don't know. You know, people walking around, you know what I'm saying, flashing and flunting everything they got, calling themselves a chosen one, all this jewelry on, all these hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank account, and they won't give you a piece of bread. They won't even pull over and help a homeless person out, give them a burger. Why do you think the man, the rich man, went to hell and asked, you know, Abraham and Lazarus, hey, can you just dip your finger in water and give me some water? Because you don't want to come here. It's extremely hot. God even said it. Where the, where the, where the fire won't quench, where the worms don't die. If you, if you go to hell, you are going to be tortured forever for this. So stop being fake. This ain't no joke. I don't know why people taking this as a joke. This is no type of joke, man. You can't play around with this stuff. If you're going to be spiritual, if you're going to be holy, if you're going to be of Jesus and follow Jesus, follow his commandments, follow God's commandments. Stop trying to be stubborn and hard-headed and do it your way. It's only one way. God said it's only one true God. It ain't no Islam. It ain't no Buddhism. You know, it ain't none of that. It ain't no false. It ain't no Hebrew Israelites and all that trying to, you know, trying to portray to be something else. All these other fake false religions out here. God said be holy. Only trust in that holy Bible. That's it. That's it. Cut the dick. Don't worry about nothing else. God will bless you if you follow his commands. I'm trying to tell y'all this stuff is serious. It ain't no joke out here. The abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak it. All right, so we really got to dive into this because, I mean, it's going to take a real king, you know what I'm saying, to lead the people in the right direction. A real chosen one to lead the people in the right direction. To help the ones out that are lost, you know, the ones that are lost, the ones that think that they are chosen and they're not. The ones that truly believe that they can still be worldly and commit sins and claim that they're a chosen one, but they're not. The ones that did not get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, born again with spirit and water, you are not chosen. If you pass away today, you will not make it through the gates of heaven because you did not get baptized. The ones that go out, party, hang out, have fun every single week, weekend, drinking, smoking, fornicating, committing adultery, fighting, hurting, assaulting people, committing the worst crimes ever, stealing, you know what I'm saying, lying, bearing false witness, talking behind people back, you know, backstabbing. That is not a real chosen one. You are a fraud. You are fake. And they have to be exposed. And I knew I was going to have to be one of the ones to do it because I know a lot of people, they are not holy. The biggest one, you got to be a Christian. You got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's something a lot of them are not doing because they all been taught wrong. Now, if you want to start, if you want to become a chosen one, this the things that you have to do. You have to be born again. You have to become a Christian. 
You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You have to follow the Ten Commandments. You have to follow the Bible to keep you on track. The commandments will get you on track. But in order to stay on track, you have to read the Bible. You have to go through Scripture. You have to be born again. You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's how you get your messages from God. You know, every true chosen one, they had a task to do. And that was to bring people closer to God. I don't see a lot of that. I do not see a lot of that on YouTube, on social media, on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people misguiding people, a lot of false prophets out here. A lot of people claiming to be a chosen one, and they really don't understand a true chosen one, what they had to go through, the things you got to sacrifice. You got to give up 85 to 90 percent of sin that you are doing. A lot of people are just not willing to do that, but they'll sit back and call themselves a true chosen one. But you ain't willing to give up nothing. You ain't willing to sacrifice a blunt. Stop drinking. Stop fornication. Sleeping around with people. You're not willing to do that. So therefore, how can you be a true chosen one? Now, you may admire chosen ones. You may want to be like them. You know, they may be your idols. You know what I'm saying? You look up to them, which you're not supposed to, you know, worship any angels. Only Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But I'm just saying that. As an example You want to be like a chosen one Because that name carries weight People know when you say chosen one They already know what it means But they don't know how to actually be one Now all of the true chosen ones That's in the Bible All of Jesus and apostles All true chosen ones All hand picked by God All of them believed in the faith All of them stayed in faith Through the Holy Spirit Lord Jesus Christ A lot of people ain't going to teach all this Because they don't know that And they ain't filled with the Holy Spirit so they can't tell you that if they don't have it. This is a gift from God that we are blessed with his grace, his mercy, his love, his abundance. You know what I'm saying? You will be blessed just staying in faith. You don't have to ask for all these unnecessary things from God because God already knows what you need. But a lot of these false prophets, a lot of these fake chosen ones on here think they know it all. Yeah, they do a lot of good motivational speaking. They make it sound good. Just like... Pastors and bishops A lot of them aren't really truly ordained from God They don't have They're not full of the Holy Spirit Like they should be They're too far from God Even God told us People at judgment They will say Lord didn't I cast out demons in your name Oh Lord And he will say Iniquity Turn away from me I do not know you You know how hurtful that would be To, to live your life Claiming that you're a chosen one And then the day you get On judgment day to meet Jesus And he tell you To turn away from me I never knew you you didn't get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't get saved. You know, you're being misled. You're not filled with the Holy Spirit. You don't read your Bible. You don't fast. You don't love that neighbor. You don't do none of that, but you're a chosen one. How? You see all the, all the missteps. You see all the things that you're, uh, you are missing too much to be a true chosen one. Like I said before, you can try to pretend and be a fake one and be like one, but you're not a true one. It, that's why it take a true king to lead the people Now, all of the true chosen ones Were handpicked by God All of them had a test All of them had a task, a mission to do And that is lead people to God Lead them the right way Tell them the truth A lot of people didn't agree with it A lot of them, Moses, Abraham, Noah These are handpicked people by God The, the real true, true chosen ones you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to be offended by that. They're going to be like, oh, he calling everybody out. He's saying they fake. They false prophets. They fake chosen ones. Yeah, because you are. There's no way you can be real. There ain't no way you really truly can be real, a real chosen one, if you don't live by the Bible. If you don't follow the Ten Commandments. If you don't go to scripture and, and pull receipts on everything you're explaining to the people. Because even, even I think Apostle uh, Paul said it best Test people to see if they're true Test them <laughs> And that's what I've been doing I look at a lot of content I look I look at people's appearance And I look what they stand for And I look the the stuff that they say And that they preach to the people Because you're, you're pretty much That's what you're becoming When you claim to be a chosen one You're preaching the right You're supposed to lead people to God You're supposed to lead them in the right direction But I don't hear much of that I don't hear much scripture I, I, I just hear worldly things People gossiping and talking about what's going on in the world And they keep throwing that chosen one out there Chosen, chosen, chosen Just like the fake false prophets Just like all of the pastors and bishops They'll say a little something And then they go back to motivational speaking 
Oh, you know, people don't like you. This, that, and the third. They may say a quote out the Bible. And then they just go talking about worldly things. That's prosperity gospel. They go talking about wealth and prosperity. They don't stick to the scripture like holy, holy Bible scriptures. They don't stick to that. You know why they don't stick to that? Because they fake. They false. They ain't the truth. They want to ordain God did not handpick them. They want to be. They want to be the truth. They want to be the light, but they don't have it. You know, only only fake people will get mad by this. Real chosen was not going to get mad or the ones that want to become a true chosen one. They're not going to get mad because they're going to go to scripture and they're going to see. Yes, everybody that was handpicked by God, they led the people to God. They didn't talk about their own personal life all the time. I mean, I don't ever hear them talking nothing out of the Bible, out of the scripture. I mean, it's OK to, to say a little something. Tell, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself A little bit about your life But you don't ever direct people back To Jesus Our Savior That's why y'all have these big platforms Because y'all have the power Y'all have it in your hands But y'all don't know how to use it That's why they say great power Comes great responsibility Everybody can't handle being the king They just can't They can't They all false prophets They can't speak the truth Even if they wanted to They can't A lot of people don't want to give up Their lustful ways Their desires the um the temptation they just can't stop doing it but they can hop online on youtube in front of everybody and make it look good you see how they like to cover it up that's a false prophet that's somebody that's not keeping it real behind closed doors see me i keep it 1000 i know i'm not perfect i know i'm a sinner you know what i'm saying i would never claim to be i would never claim to judge anybody condemn anybody but i will Call out false prophets Because that's what you're supposed to do We are all sinners We all fall short under the glory of God That's in the word You gotta understand that We all can serve a purpose If we put our mind to it A lot of people don't know how to do that They don't know how to go to God For all their problems Guess what they do They go to man They wanna go to politics They think the president is gonna save them you think on judgment day when you pass away, the president ain't gonna be standing there next to you? You think the person that you were married to on judgment day are, is gonna be standing there next to you on judgment day when you're in front of Jesus? You gonna What you gonna use that excuse? Oh, ain't nobody tell me, ain't nobody warn me, ain't nobody say nothing. I'm trying to figure this part out because this is a very big deal and I'm, and I'm just sick of it because there ain't no real kings, there ain't no real chosen ones. They don't, see, it take a real true king, a real queen to deliver the message. And a lot of a lot of them just not, they fake. They talk about everything under the sun. They talk about all kind of politics, all kind of gossip, how people hating on each other, but they never talk about that scripture. Let's get back to Bible, people. Why y'all can't do that? And a real true chosen one prays every day, every day. And another thing, a real, true, chosen one. Don't ever hate on nobody. They don't ever judge nobody and condemn nobody. They help people to stay in faith and trust in God and all their goals, their dreams, their visions, and their purpose. They help people. They bring people to God, not make people run away from God.